Right, I've just made a small change to the uh, Solar DMM. I've called it the Solar MPPT now. And uh, one of the things I've done is created a auto ranging bar graph. So it goes up to about 25 watts. Um, and then it will compress down and uh, go up to about 80, 80 watts, something like that. And uh, today I've connected it to a battery. You can see the wires here, I've got a fuse there. And I've put it on this big battery, which is currently reading 12.3. And also I've put this uh, 150 watt incandescent lamp on here because there's no charge controller in this circuit now and I want to uh, make sure I don't overcharge the battery so basically I'm making sure I keep it uh, well undercharged it's it is fully charged from being uh, on a solar panel and charge controller for days and days so I'm just draining it down so that this won't overcharge it so that's reading 23 watts up it goes and then the bar graph jumps into that uh, different range and now it's gone up 55, 50 watts there. Incidentally, I haven't shown you this, there's an 80 watt panel connected to it this time and uh, the wires come around there, MC4 connectors are there and those go into the solar MPPT as it's now called. Um, and I want to uh, start using bigger panels on this thing and that's why I've done this auto-ranging bar graph so that it can read the higher watts and still function and uh, it's now time to stop messing about with light bulbs as a load and uh, go for a car battery as a load and see what the implications are of pulling the solar panel voltage down. You can see there that the solar panel voltage is about 12, 13 volts. Um, we're getting nearly 5 amps through it and the uh, sun's out strongly now so we've got 63, 64 watts peak and it's an 80 watt panel so we're about 25% down on maximum. It is getting on in the afternoon so we probably could do better. In fact I was getting about 70 watts earlier on in the day but um, yes experiments on solar panel connected to battery from this point on.